hi how are you i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i know i'm flourishing um so today's video these earrings are gonna distract me but i know i'm gonna get comments being like you should have left them in but like they're gonna distract me i'm just not i'm filming i just want to be like comfortable you know i don't need to look my best okay so <laughs> in today's video i wanted to do another version of yes or pass uh which got mixed reviews uh but this is gonna be just basically talking about new makeup this is not an anti-haul I do still love anti-hauls so I still will do them but I like being able to talk about makeup that I also maybe like while also dragging makeup that I don't like um so we're just gonna go through trend mood and we're just gonna talk about some new makeup releases and talk about some new products and I can give you guys old me's opinion about all of this stuff so let's just get started okay the first thing I want to talk about is the Fenty bronzers now I'm picking these up. Um, I think they go on sale pretty soon actually and I'm getting this one of my gift cards that I have for my birthday still to buy one because I need it. Um, I really 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 want to get one of these Fenty bronzers. After I heard they were coming out with them I know they like rumored they were gonna be coming out with bronzers soon and I was so excited. Do I need a new bronzer? Probably not but I really like supporting Fenty. I'm looking at this shade range it looks pretty good. However I saw a really interesting video from an, I think her name I don't how to pronounce her name. I think it's Naima. And she did a video basically she tested out the darkest colored bronzer um for every for like a really dark skinned person and it was eye-opening honestly for how I'll link that video down below so you guys can watch it. It was really eye-opening for how there just isn't a bronzer that is made for people who are very dark and I think that's just a huge lapse and she even showed that like she has an eyeshadow that she uses for a bronzer and she even showed like these powders exist people just aren't making them. So this looks pretty dark but I would be interested to see what she has to say about how dark this actually is because some of the bronzers that she was holding up I used to think were dark and then I was like that's like a concealer you know what I mean for this for this person so it was just interesting but I still would like to buy the Fenty bronzers I think they look really interesting I was looking online and I saw that they had a bunch of different undertones which I really appreciate because being a more neutral undertone it's a little bit harder to find things that aren't super super warm or super super cool I have a bunch of bronzers that I really like but I'd be excited to add this to my collection and I think the price is really good I think $30 for a high-end bronzer is good so okay this now I want this but I shouldn't buy this um this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm highlighter palette it looks like it has a blush two highlighters and a bronzer this looks stunning like beautiful the way that it's pressed the glow like I I love everything about this like packaging wise the packaging is beautiful this is so aesthetically pleasing to me and I'm so intrigued by the beauty of this however I don't need this at all I have a bunch of highlighters I have too many I need to get rid of some because my highlighter drawer is just overflowing um and while face palettes are useful I never really know what drawer to put face palettes like this is such a petty thing but I'm like I have too many face palettes but I never know where to put face palettes like this I'm like do I put it with my highlighters do I put it with my bronzers do I put it with my blushes things that have multiples in them are difficult for me to store because I don't know where to put them and then they end up not getting used I try to put them in what I would use them as but sometimes they just don't get used and it makes me sad and something as beautiful as this really does deserve to be used and I don't think I would use it enough to warrant also it's gonna be so expensive it doesn't say how much it is but it's, I know it's gonna it's it's Charlotte Tilbury so it's gonna be very expensive and honestly after I bought that bar of gold highlighting palette I had to return because it was so tiny and ridiculous um I'm really hesitant to buy any more of her products because that was just insanity so this is interesting so Patrick Ta who I actually didn't really know I've seen him before I'm pretty sure he's a youtuber and like a makeup artist pretty sure he's a makeup artist um he's coming out with a collection and the packaging on this is it's fantastic like I don't even wear body or shimmer oils like I would never wear that and I wanted the body shimmer oils uh, because the packaging on them is just stunning um I am considering getting the sparkly mist because I do love I have the cover effects I'm almost out of this I love this cover effects illuminating spray and I am almost out of it so I almost feel like I could justify getting a new glitter spray because I am almost out of this one and I loved this one I especially in the summer and spring I love a good glittery setting spray I know some people don't like this because they don't like glitter I want to look like I'm Edward from Twilight in the summertime so I want the sun to hit me and I want to just be filled with sparkles that's like what I want um so I think this would be great but I don't think the rest of it is something that I actually 
need, which sucks because it's beautiful, but just not all of it is. I know there's like a fan you can buy. I'm not going to buy the fan. I'm not, I'm, I just use my own palettes. Like I don't need the fan. The body glitters do look beautiful, but I know I won't use them. But I have to say this is a fantastic first release because I didn't really know who he was. And I feel like most of the time when people come out with this, it's their built in audience that are the first people to buy. But just seeing this online, I was like, I don't know who this guy is, but I want this. Like he did a fantastic job with marketing and packaging and all of that stuff. I think that was really, really cool. So, uh, Kat, Kat Von D. Um, I mean, I can make the, like, disease jokes, but Nisa has already made all of them, so I can't make any more. But this is awful. It's not awful. This is actually objectively, like, pretty, but I just don't see the point. I saw a really good comment on, I think it was Twitter, where somebody was like, you know, it just seems like Kat is trying to throw things at a wall and just see what sticks, and that's what she's doing with her brand right now. Like, she's just putting out all of this kind of weird, garbagey stuff and just hoping that something works and is a hit like the shade and light was this is not going to be that though because first of all i don't i don't need a compact mirror like that i have this mirror it's very dirty i have a mirror behind me that i use and i don't really i have mirrors in all of my palettes i don't really need like a separate mirror if that makes sense so that's the first reason i wouldn't buy this the second reason is it, it is pretty but like i don't fully understand the gigantic hole in the middle of it like the hole is kind of confusing to me it, it just isn't something that i think would be a necessity for people and also like if you're trying to get people back to your brand by doing like aesthetically things make good makeup the reason people used to love Kat Von D so much was because her formula was fantastic it was super super good I don't know why you would make something that doesn't have your formulas in it like go back people loved those metal crush eyeshadows or whatever they were like make those again do I I rarely tell a brand to be repetitive but like she needs to be more repetitive with this she needs to go back to the things that were working for her because this right now is just like absolutely not working. <laughs> Thousand color pop releases. Um, BH Cosmetics put out their Summer Lovin' palette. I'm just not at all interested in this. Like, I'm so sorry. This just looks really... I don't know how to describe it because it's like it's not necessarily boring because it does have some kind of fun colors and I don't have a palette that has this type of color story, but I don't want a palette that has this type of color story. It's not very cohesive. The random greens everywhere really throw me off. It looks Looks like a bunch of the shades are the same like there's six greens four pinks two whites two creams and one purple and like a maroon color but they all look very similar like there's two golds that look very similar there's two greens that look very similar there's two pinks that look very similar like it all kind of looks very similar and also no shade bh comes out with great packaging sometimes but this packaging just looks very cheap to me um it looks it, it doesn't it, it looks cheap like i don't mean to be like bougie um but it does like it looks cheap it doesn't look super and and bh can do better i think that's why i'm saying that because i know that to be affordable they have to do kind of cheaper packaging which i'm totally fine with to keep the cost down uh but they can do better than this they have done better than this so i'm just kind of disappointed by that because I, do, I don't like their packaging on this either glow recipe this is skincare okay <laughs> glow recipe is coming out with a pineapple brightening serum i tried the glow recipe their um strawberry i think it was it was the cute little pink watermelon it was their watermelon um like night cream or whatever and it actually made me break out really bad the thing about this is that this type of makeup this type of like skincare is cute like having a little pineapple bottle with like smells like pineapple little serum like that's cute objectively but there's nothing in science based on what i've seen about skincare i've been trying to get a little bit more into skincare lately and there's nothing i've seen that says that putting scents into makeup makes it better for you it actually makes it more more likely that you're gonna like break out from this so if you want this because like you're down for the cuteness like that's totally fine I don't but if you're gonna buy something like this where it has the sense like that I would get a sample first at Sephora before buying the entire bottle I felt really bad having to return mine but it made me break out so bad and ever since then I've gone the sample route when it comes to skincare skincare in and of itself is pretty dicey like it's hard to tell if something's gonna work for you or not before you can actually try it out a little bit um, but especially when it has really strong scents like this the, the, the thought process behind it is cool but it's just kind of and it also has pineapple juice in it I don't know I'm not a, I'm not really about the pineapple thing I'm not gonna lie this is something I want um this is the milk this is part of their kush stuff which I've never been super into because I'm not like 
420, like, it's not really my life. Um, but I don't have a problem with it, just not my life. But I do really want to try this. This is their cannabis mask, and it is a hydrating face mask. It's only $24, and it comes in their little, like, stick format that they have for a lot of their products. I want this because I hate the mess of applying face masks. I think it's so annoying having to, like, either get your hands dirty, get a brush dirty. It's annoying to have to, like, put that goop on your face. It's messy. This looks like a very clean way to apply a face mask that also seems like it has some really good ingredients for you, which I'm all about. Um, and it's, like, green. It's fun. I could take Instagram pictures. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. Um, I'm really about this. I'm excited to... I have this in my cart for when the 15% um, off sale for VIBs happens, and I think I'm going to pick this up because I actually really like the idea of it. I like the concept. Um, yeah, I'm about this. I really, really like this. And I used to have their cooling stick, and I loved it. It was so good. I really, really liked it. Okay, can we just talk about NARS Orgasm? How many NARS Orgasm products can they come up with before they, like, run out? I'm so... I feel like every month they have a new orgasm collection and it just is really conflicting to me. I tried NARS Orgasm. I bought it. Um, I was in New York City for a music festival and I went to the Sephora in Times Square and I bought NARS Orgasm and I was so excited and I got out of the store and I like went to go like put it on for the day and it was bad. It was not pigmented. It had no pigment actually. It didn't swatch good. It didn't perform well. I ended up returning it because I absolutely hated it and it was like one of their special edition like orgasm things which they have literally every month. I didn't like it. I don't get the hype around NARS, not even just NARS blushes, but NARS orgasm in particular. I truly didn't understand the hype for this one. I felt like I put it on and like nothing happened. Like actually, I don't know about this. And now they're coming out with the face pot. They already came out with the liquid once. I get the, everything is NARS orgasm. And I just wish they would like get that like it works for them, but I wish they would move on because I'm so over seeing a new orgasm collection every other month. It's ridiculous. Let's talk about blue blood, shall we? I appreciate blue blood for what it is. Like I, I appreciate that it is a blue palette. I think the packaging is very cool where it's, it's very on brand for him with the, it's like the combination of the what was it called blood sugar blood sugar it was like the combination of the blood sugar with also the more edginess of like a coffin style packaging whatever I I don't hate the packaging itself I could have done without the more peachy tones I do think like I get why he did that but I I don't love that I don't buy from Jeffree Star anyway I I think the blue lip set is a choice the blue it just is very blue and I think it's good because people have been asking for that and I'm happy that he's providing something like that to people who are asking for that so he came out with this and I was like whatever blue palette I'm not gonna buy it whatever like it, it works for the people who want it like whatever and then Tarte came out finally said they're doing their icy batch palette and everyone was like they're stealing from Jeffree Star and it's like no they're not they had that if anything he stole this from any brand who has come out with an all blue palette has been inspired by that Tarte icy bitch April Fool's prank that just completely blew up in their faces like it has to be because when that happened nobody the thought of having an all blue eyeshadow palette was so funny to Tarte that it was like a joke you know what I mean? And then everyone freaked out. And then there were the spinoffs from like Shop Hush. And then there's all, there's been this resurgence of blue since ever. It's not a coincidence that like almost a year later, which is about the time it would take from start to finish to like do a makeup product. It's not a coincidence that a ton of brands are coming out with a blue eyeshadow palette after that Icy Betch incident. Um, it's not, it's not a coincidence. This happened because of that first initial post. So if anyone's stealing from anyone, they stole the concept from Tarte. Now Tarte dropped to the ball. I don't like the Icy Betch palette. I don't understand the huge white highlighter in instead of shades. I don't understand why they didn't just make the mock-up of their palette. Like, I don't get it. I do, however, think the pricing is fantastic. Um, I saw that it was only $24, which I think is really good. That's a great deal. Like, it's small. It's appropriate. It's If somebody wants to just play with blues and not have this big crazy blue blood palette. I don't want to pay that much for it. I think the Icy Betch is actually a great alternative. I don't really wear blue eyeshadow, so I'm not as I'm wearing like bright purple under my eyes, but I don't really wear that type of eyeshadow, so I'm not going to buy any of these. Um, but I, I just think it's like you're reaching. If you really think that like they stole from Jeffree Star and were able to produce it that quickly, I would seriously consider looking into how makeup works and how <laughs> making makeup works. I am avid fan of Game of Thrones. I saw all of the pictures from all of the cast members at their last red carpet, their like final premiere, and I wanted to cry. Um, I love Game of Thrones. I've always loved Game of Thrones. I have a very special video planned for when it premieres with my Game of Cones palette from Beauty, ba from Beauty Bakery. Urban Decay came out with an actual Game of Thrones. They collaborated with them. 
I'm just a little disappointed. First of all, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy this. Um, I I know I won't use those shadows at all. Like I just know I won't. Those shadows together won't work. I think who said someone said on Twitter it would have been perfect if they had split those four like sections up into four different palettes that you could buy, like four little palettes. Totally would have picked one of those up if that were the case. The packaging is, it reminds me of the Alice in Wonderland packaging. It's very bulky, it's very big. It has, it doesn't serve, the thing I hate about the packaging is it doesn't serve a purpose for the makeup. It's just big bulky packaging for the sake of being big bulky packaging. It's not like they have extra big pan sizes or anything useful. It's just so you can pull up this thing so you have an iron throw. Um, I'm disappointed. I heard from a few people that the shadows perform well, and I'm sure they do. Like, they look swatched. They look like they perform well. But I'm just not interested in buying something this bulky that I have to store, and also knowing that I'm not going to use the majority of the shades because they're just too randomized because of the way that they split it up. You know what I mean? Kind of sad, actually, because I was really excited. <laughs> I was, like, thinking about buying that, depending on how it looked, and I'm, I'm just not going to do it. The final thing I want to talk about is this new collection from MAC. It's called the MAC Electric Wonder Collection. Uh, I'm very, I want this. Um, like a lot. I'm not interested in the eyeshadow palettes. The eyeshadow palettes look boring. They're very neutral. They're very MAC, like whatever. But the, there's one bronzer that has like sheens of gold in it and it just looks so stunningly beautiful. And the packaging, oh my god, the packaging. The packaging is so cool. I never let myself fall for the MAC limited edition hype. Um, just because I, I, I just don't, I don't need to. You know what I mean? I'm not super drawn into collecting limited edition things. And I don't like this because it's limited edition. I like this because this is so my aesthetic of like makeup like the pink with the gold splatter paint with the black with the really like simplistic like all of that is so me and I think the bronzer on the inside is something that I would cherish for the rest of my life I think this is just like my inner makeup fiend like sniffing around to try to find a reason to buy this because realistically I don't need any more bronzers jury's still out and if I'm gonna buy this or not it's dropping soon so we're gonna see if I'll actually pull the plug and like buy this one um I'm really thinking about it though. I just think it's so pretty. Like I know I have something similar to this with the Milani blush that I have, uh, but this looks like it even has more luminosity and more glow to it. Since I love that Milani one so much, I feel like I'd be okay with purchasing something a little bit pricier that is similar um, to have both of those for the summer because I'm going to use a glowy bronzer so much this summer. I want to be just like a bronzed glowy goddess this summer. Like I have a vision, you know what I mean? It's in my head. I have a vision. Um, <laughs> so that is that on that. Uh, that is my yas or pass uh, kind of talking about new makeup product releases. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, just so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media, and everything I'm wearing on my face will be linked down below. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!